Hey howdy hey DC heroes, villains and everyone in between. Uh Wolfman Forward Sun Dash here and today I'm gonna to talk to you about Zack Snyder's DC Extended Universe. And when I say his extended universe, I'm talking about if Warner Brothers decided to stick with his vision instead of going the way they wanted to go. Um but before that, I am currently naked because I can't be bothered to put anything on at the moment, so yeah. <laughs> but don't worry YouTube, don't worry, I'm not gonna reveal too much. I promise. So, um so the DC Extended Universe has been a bit of a mixed bag o overall. It's had a few good films and a few bad films and films that just don't make sense or just gave Ben McVaughan a mixed feeling. And I think one of the reasons why it wasn't as successful as um the early the early days of the MCU is because it just kept changing directions. And one of those directions was originally going to be the Zack Snyder direction, in which we'd have all the films that we got up to Justice League, except his, except we'd get his Justice League instead of the Joss Whedon Justice League or Justice League. Um, and then after that, we'd continue getting solo films, but then after a certain period of solo films, we'd get another Justice League film and then some more solo films and then a third and final Justice League film that would have ended the DC Extended Universe there. Um, and that was the original plan for for his for his ver verse or Snyder verse, um, but it just it just never happened. And there's a few factors to take into account as to why this didn't happen. Um, the first and probably most obvious factor is that during production of Justice League, Zack Snyder had to excuse himself because his daughter passed away, so obviously that had to take priority. And during that time, Warner Brothers were desperate to rush it and everything, so they got Joss Sweden to do some reshooting and stuff. But as it turned out, sort of behind the scenes, he actually did a lot more than just reshooting. Ch probably changed quite a lot of it. Um, hence the reason why you have so many actors and actresses that worked on that film, such as Gal Gadot and uh, Ray Fisher, I think that's his name, um, who just felt that he was mistreating them both. And obviously they didn't actually say that until uh, not long after the Zack Snyder Justice League was released. Um, obviously the Zack Snyder Justice League would have not been released in cinemas anyway because it's way too long to be released in cinemas. In fact if if the, if he did have to release it in cinemas with that running time there would need to be an interval or he'd have to split it into two films. So in that sense it was probably just as well that I did get a digital only slash blu-ray and dvd release um so what would have happened in the two just sleek sequels if they had one um so i know that the that um there were hints that what would have happened what would happen if dark side won and it would basically sort of lead into an event in which um the the Justice League would be fighting Darkseid and his and his minions because he would basically be trying to take over, take over the Earth, um, to the point where everything that happens in Batman's vision happens, um, and obviously Batman won't stop it by sacrificing himself instead of Lois Lois Lane or whoever it was, because um, obviously when Lois Lane slash Wonder Woman dies, Superman turns evil, and becomes. And becomes a tyrant and basically follows the orders of Darkseid. Wouldn't be the first time that that Superman has turned evil. It's happened quite a few times before in the past, um, in various comics and stories and so forth. Um, so that would be basically what would happen. The the Justice League films would go ahead. So, so to basically summarize his his justice is sort of um, this extended universe. It would be. It would start with. It would still start with Man of Steel, so Superman origin story, pretty straight, straightforward. Then it would. Then Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. So bring Batman into the mix and see the two feet, two um, heroes fighting one another and so all that. Um, we'd also probably would get the A cut of Suicide Squad. So, so instead of the version that we got, we would actually get the proper A cut. Which um we're never ever gonna get at this rate because of um because of the change in the cinematic universe, but who knows, we might still get it. Um we'd still get Wonder Woman as it is. Justice League would 
Justice League would be the Zack Snyder's Justice League, so we'd get that as it is. Um, we'd get Ackman as it is. Um, and I think at that point, I'm then sort of wondering what would happen at then, because I think we'd still get Shazam, and I think we'd still get the Wonder Woman sequel, and whatever other films came between those two. Excuse me. Um, and then the Justice League sequels, I guess. Yeah, it's a bit complicated. Um, but that's the, I guess that's the reason why it left unreleased. Zack Snyder had his vision. Lots of people wanted to see that vision come to life, but Warner Brothers had other ideas and they just kept changing it. The thing about the DC Extended Universe is that it could have been a lot better than it was. It could have been something something truly, truly great to, to see, but what we ended up getting is um too many too many things rushed like like people often complain that Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice should not have been the second film in the DC Extended Universe and I agree it should have had at least a few more solo films before leading into that so my my vision would have been obviously Man of Steel so Superman origin story then maybe a, a Batman story film but not really an origin story because we all know it's origin story by now it's had so many films um something else to do with that that would then lead into a Batman v Superman film but then we'd have another Superman film and then we get Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice and then and then the rest of them um and then probably after Dawn of Justice maybe um sort of films for Aquaman, Cyborg, Wonder Woman and The Flash and then we'd get Justice League um, and then those stories would continue in more solo films, and then we'd also get introduced to other heroes, and then the next Justice League. And then we'd probably get a third and final solo film for each of the heroes, or maybe not all of them, just some of them, and then lead into the third and final Justice League. And then you'd probably get the sort of equivalent of the Infinity War from MCU, but the DC version. So, yeah, that's basically what I think. It could have been a lot better. All it need the DC Extended Universe just needed to have one clear vision, one clear direction, and just stick with it. Because fans don't like it when things have to be get complicated, have things have to change, and all this other weird, wonderful stuff. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I I think the DC Extended Universe is okay. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's outright bad. It could have been a lot better. And it could, and it could have, and it deserves a better ending than what we got with um, the Flash and Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, or as I like to call it, Aquaman and the Lost Franchise. <laughs> um, I think if there was anything really good about about it, it's the fact that we got um, Henry Cavill as Superman. I think he's a great actor, and um, I'm not gonna lie, he is also he's also quite hot as well. <laughs> um, we got a great Wonder Woman film. So many people were so worried that that film was not going to do well, but turns out it did. It did as well as it did. Shame about the sequel, but hey ho, here's what it is. Um, we got a great Aquaman film. We got a we got a great Shazam. We got two great Shazam films. We didn't get the greatest Suicide Squad film, and probably because a cut was not released, and probably would have been better if not slightly better. But we did get the Suicide Squad, which is James Gunn's take, and that was and that was okay. Birds of Prey could have been had a better box office because that was a good film as well. Uh, well, Peacemaker, great series, and I think with the Flash, um, I'm not sure when Ezra Miller was found for being a paedophile or whatever it was they end up being, but I think if he was cast. Um, after that happened, I don't. I think that would have been a bad move on DC and Warner Brothers' part, but they cast him before it happened, so you can't exactly blame them for going continuing with him for his film. But um, if anything, I think another like actor could have probably done a better job than he than he did. Um, no offense to the guy, because uh, I'm not that keen on people that just do horrible things behind the scenes. It's just not good. So yeah. DC, the Zack Snyder's DC Extended Universe, prob we're probably never going to get it now. Maybe not in films, but comics, you know, it's, it's possible. 
possible we'll get in the comics because you know it's DC after all they are com a comic book company so why not <laughs> um, and you know most of the cast I think were casted well um, Ben Affleck who knew he'd be a good Batman maybe not the best Batman in the world but he was a good Batman um, Henry Cavill as I said um, damn he's gorgeous <laughs> yeah well I'll carry on um, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman was when I first heard about her getting the role I didn't know much about her beyond Fast and Furious but yeah she's a good choice and she's mighty fine as well um, who else uh, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn well I mean Margot Robbie she is she is wow She's hot, um, and she plays that part, and she plays that part well. Really, really owns it. So good on her. Uh, uh, other stand-up people. So I don't think I could have thought of anybody else to play Ackman than Jason Momoa, because Ackman needs to be needs to be a muscular body that well, who just doesn't give a shit about anything, and Jason Momoa nails that part really well. Um, I don't know about the other the other actors playing their roles, but is what it is. So yeah, the six universe could have been the better, deserves a lot better, but at least we're now getting a James Gunn DC universe instead now. So hopefully, hopefully that will be that will be better or good, and at least and hopefully then it will just stick to one direction and not go into several several million directions like um the DC extended universe did because that's all we really need really. Consistency, consistency, a clear vision, a clear direction, and that's and just follow things best way you can because that's really all you need. So yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe using wherever the buttons are these days. Excuse me. Yeah. See you in the next one. Peace to you all. And if you make your own cinematic universe. Don't change direction constantly, keep things consistent and just give the people, just treat the people well for God's sake. Yeah, just treat them well, don't don't insult them, don't annoy them because these, because you know, you guys, these people work incredibly hard and you can't exactly work well if you're going to be treating them like shit. And I'm saying that directly to you, Joss Whedon, don't just... You know, just don't treat your actors like shit. Just don't do it. Yeah. All right. Toodles. What, are we some kind of suicide squad? <laughs>